I ended up catching COVID. I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but I wound up catching COVID uh, in July, right after the 4th of July, around that time. Um, tested positive for COVID after I went to urgent care. You know, I had a slight headache and stuff like that. I didn't have none of the major symptoms at the time. Um, but as the time went on, I started getting shortness of breath. Uh, and at that time, I called for an ambulance to come pick me up. And that's when I was admitted in a JRMC at the time. I was on 100% oxygen and I was on the ventilator at that time. Uh, when I first got to JRMC, they had me on straight oxygen. Later on, I was put on the vent for a while. Uh, a lot of that stuff I don't remember um, because I was out. Trying to get him up to Baptist from here and they helicopter him and, and, uh, up to there. And uh, they did have to put him on an ECMO machine up there. That went along with the ventilator and the oxygen. And, and we were en route that morning. And they had told him, told us to prepare for him not breathing and maybe pass away. You know, it felt real bad. I'm telling you, it was something to go through. And his mother was, uh, she was in shock. And we just taking it as it came. I, I just, all we could do was try to get to him. And we just start praying, you know, and hoping God would see him through. That's, that's all we could do. Well, like I guess I went into the hospital in July. When I woke up, it was September. If you ever had surgery, you know, waking up from a surgery, that's what it felt like. You know, it was, it was kind of shocking to me, but I couldn't talk at the time. So, you know, I couldn't really express what was going on, but I could see, you know, I had to look at the news, kind of figure out, okay, is it really September or is somebody playing a joke on me? You know, I, I thought it was a joke or something, you know, for a while I didn't believe it. And we got there and got a chance to see him and he was woke and now, but he didn't ever recognize us. He said, glad to see him woke, but we wanted to see him well also, but that didn't happen for a long period of time. When I woke up, I had a probably a, a rack and a half worth of IV fluids going in me at, at one time. Uh, I had a feeding tube through my nose, um, and that's how I had to, to eat. And when I woke up, you know, they started with, you know, some basic therapy, uh, getting my limbs to move back again, um, being able to feel certain things. Uh, I was unable to talk at the time because I still had a trait uh, in my throat, and I had to learn how to go back through that, you know, use those muscles to talk. Uh, went through speech therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. Uh, walking, then learning how to walk again. Uh, learning how to do just simple things that we take advantage of day to day, you know, like how to write and how to how to add numbers. Trying to breathe and talk, I had to learn how to do that again, you know. Like I said, just certain things we, we take for granted, I had to learn all over again. You know, uh, the nurses and the staff at Baptist uh, did a great job with with me in trying to push me. I never did have a, a time where I wanted to give up. Uh, I know God had me through this whole thing. If he, if he, if he brought me back through, through all this, wasn't no point for me to give up. Uh, Still on oxygen at, at, at a time it's as needed really now, but you know, things are things are looking up, God is good. Most people think it's just like catching a cold. It feels like that, but this virus is a deadly virus. Uh, it's something that will take you out. It, 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 it will literally kill you. So take it serious, get vaccinated. Uh, I didn't take it serious at the beginning. Look at what I went through to be your judging factor on taking the precautions for COVID-19, because it's, it's real. What well, what you kind of generated some uh, some thoughts some people who didn't think it was real yeah. <laughs> and allowed the you know political talk and be politicized, you know, dictate whether or not they had a decision to, you know, get the uh, vaccination, not get it. 
And then seeing you down like this, like, oh, yeah, we may want to think about that again. Yeah. Yeah. And so immediately we start having people uh, okay. showing the interest in going to get it, man. That's, that's, right there. that's just amazing, man. You yeah. can see the dean and now. Yeah. 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 Dean and now. Yeah. Yeah.